This is the scarf up to row 16. One little point here, if you wish to, you could knit one yarn over, knit one through back loops and have a slightly tighter start to your leaf. Uh, this is a very large gauge and quite heavy yarn, so it looks bigger than usual. Normally it looks pretty, pretty tidy. So we're just about to start increasing for the next set of leaves because at the start of the scarf we have to allow new sets of leaves to start on either side of the central leaf. So we have to start increasing. So we begin the row with our customary purl two. Try and be kind to the edge stitch, I was being a bit unkind there. But it will curl over and hide. And it's purl two, knit two, and it's a make one knit wise. So it's the yarn that connects this stitch and the one I've just knitted. If I tuck my needle under there and knit, then that's going to become part of my part of my knits. Then, having made my increase, I'm now back at the leaf and I'm going to purl 11 across the leaf. So the new leaves are made when the old leaf is at its full width. When I get to the far side of the leaf, I'm going to squeeze another one of those make one increases in and it's going to be a make one knitwise. So there is the bar. I'm only pulling on it just to show you the hole and knit under it plus the two edge stitches and the two border stitches. Now we're ready for row 18. So we'll do our two edge stitches, knit two, purl two. Now we need to make one purl wise. This is the tricky one. I've got to find the piece of yarn that connects the stitch I just knitted with the following stitch and there it is. If you need to use a spare needle then do so but we're just going to find that piece of yarn and gently purl under it so that that looks like four purls side by side. Now I'm going to knit to the middle of my leaf and this is a little detail it really doesn't matter if you include it or not, but the very middle of the leaf at its widest point, I suggest you knit into the row below. Not into this stitch, but into the stomach of its parent stitch there, right down there. The idea being to help counteract the leaf's tendency to bulge. So I've knitted into the row below and now I finish my leaf. Now I've got to make the corresponding increase on the other side so I'm going to purl one and then again I have to find that piece of yarn between this stitch and the one that I just purled and there it is. I definitely think a third needle is quite helpful at that point to lift that piece of yarn. Purl into it and finish the row and then when I'm done I've got a nice group of four pearls here and four pearls there into which I can launch the new columns of leaves on either side. 